If you're looking for instant and cheap Madden Ultimate Team coins, make sure to check out MobileMaddenCoins.com and use the discount code RBT for 10% off your purchase. Yo, what is going on everybody? This is Samuel Brown, aka RBT, coming at you with a video today showing you how to get essentially unlimited draft picks in Madden 17 Connected Franchise Mode. And with those unlimited draft picks, you can do whatever you want. You can trade them for higher draft picks. You can trade them for other players. I'm just going to show you the method on how you can actually get as many draft picks as you want. And you can do whatever you want with those draft picks. So if you're somebody that doesn't really necessarily like cheating, I guess you could say, in any games, this isn't the video for you. But since you click on this video with the title, you probably do want to see how to do this. But first of all, what we have to do is choose a team. And for this video, it doesn't really matter. Let's just go with the Broncos since they won the Super Bowl. And the best thing to do would be to start this in the preseason and you'll see why in just a second so we will start this in the preseason and now that we are in week one of the preseason the way we're going to do this is through free agency so what you guys want to do is go to the free agency and essentially what we're going to be doing in this video is signing free agents which is going to hurt our cap but then trading them on as soon as we sign them which essentially takes our salary off our cap hit and we can just get a draft pick so we sign a player and then we trade them and essentially all we did was get a free draft pick which costs nothing so obviously the reason you want to do this at the beginning of the preseason and not do this in the regular season is because you have better free agents to sign as 87 overall Phil Loadhout is pretty nice I mean he is a pretty big cat pit but 7.2 million and we are going to sign them so obviously what you want to do is go to the trade center and put Phil Loadhout on your offer sheet and what you want to do is find a team that has one of their top needs as the player that you did just sign which in this case is Phil Loadhout who is a right tackle so whatever team there we go perfect the Cincinnati Bengals need a right tackle so you just try to milk the best draft pick you can possibly get out of them. So a first round pick for Phil Loadhout, they may or may not do it. They are not interested. So what we can potentially do, though, is go find another team that does need a right tackle. As you see right here, the Jaguars' top need is a right tackle. So we might as well try them as well. Go with the Jaguars, submit this trade, and they are not interested. So since we tried to get in a first round draft pick and nobody bid on that, we can go to the second round. But what we want to do is since the Jaguars have a better second round pick than the Bengals, we first go to the Jaguars and see if we can get their second round pick for Phil Loadhout and they are not interested so we can go back to the Bengals and go to try to get their second round pick I mean anything we get at this point guys is absolutely free absolutely free Bengals second round pick I have a feeling they're gonna bite on this and we are not going to get it so I mean even if we get a third round pick even if we get a third round pick so since I don't want to give a second maybe they'll give a third if not a third they'll give us a fourth more than likely so yeah they're definitely gonna give us a fourth round draft pick and that's for absolutely free guys absolutely free and you'll just have to play around with it a little bit and there we go we get a fourth round draft pick and as you see our cap room is back up I think we get a little bit of a penalty but not really enough to negatively affect our cap room but the way to get the best value out of your trades to get the highest possible draft pick is to sign very young free agents if you can find the highest overall rookie free agent and sign him you probably could get a very good value for him and I know he's not a rookie but Kaishan Jarrett we're gonna go ahead and sign him we'll try trading him in just a second another young guy has been in the league for two years we're gonna try to trade Jonathan Newsome. I just got to thinking the reason I can't find any rookies is because they get cut throughout the preseason so if you want to try to trade rookies you can get them later on in the preseason and they can get very good value but I'll still show you here in just a second how much more value you can get out of players that are a little bit younger but I do want to sign a wide receiver because wide receiver is a very good position to get value at and we're going to sign Brian Hartline for 3.21 million dollars so what we want to do is try to find the team with the wide receiver position as one of their highest needs and there we go the San Francisco 49ers wide receiver is their number one need so let's see we're going to try for any draft pick the first round draft pick and they do not want to give us a first round draft pick for Brian Hartline, which is understandable, but maybe their second round draft pick. And if not, we'll just keep on going down and anything we get is going to be helpful. So they do not want to give us their second round draft pick either. Maybe their third round, their third round draft pick, possibly, probably, it looks like it's going to be either the fourth or fifth. And like I said, that does not really matter because it's going to help us either way, as you'll see after I do get these players. And it was accepted. So for absolutely nothing, 
we get a fourth round draft pick. And now I'm interested to see the value we can get for a very young guy in Kyshawn Jarrett. He's been in the league for one year, so we have to find a team whose top need is a free safety. And right here, the New York Giants, let's see if we can get their first round pick. That would be funny. They're not interested, so let's see if we can get a second or third rounder for Kyshawn Jarrett. Who knows? I mean, if we wanted to, we could be adding like seventh round draft picks to get these high overall draft picks, but I'm just showing you without spending anything that you already have on your team, aside from just signing the free agents, what draft picks you can get, because you can get a draft pick for literally any free agent out there. Let's see if we can get a third round draft pick for Jarrett. They're not interested, so it looks like it's going to be another fourth round draft pick. Definitely fine with me as we will get a fourth round draft pick for Kyshawn Jarrett. And last player we are going to try to trade away for a draft pick is Newsom. And as you see here, they have no interest in Newsom because the right outside linebacker position is not a position they do need. So right here, the New York Jets. Let's just go ahead and just, they have no draft picks. They literally have no draft picks. So we might not be able to get anybody there. Oh my God. See guys here, I'm going to show you what you can do. Because, like I said, I was just going to show you just by signing free agents. But you can do whatever you want to do. Just mix and match your draft picks however you want to. What we're actually going to try here is using one of the fourth round draft picks that we did get from one of the previous trades we made in the video. And try to get the Jets first round pick. How crazy would that be? So we're going to try to get the first round draft pick. And the offer was accepted. So for literally nothing, just for signing free agents and then trading them on, we have gotten an extra first round draft pick so like I said guys this works 100% and to make it even crazier let's try to get the number one overall draft pick in this year's draft so what I'm gonna try to do to end the video guys is use the first round draft pick that we just got for essentially nothing but just for signing free agents and trading them on and try to use that to essentially get the number one overall pick for the next draft so the round one number one pick the Cleveland Browns we're gonna try to get and let's use the fourth round draft pick that we got from the other free agency trade. I'm not sure which one it was, but let's just try this and see if we can, in fact, get it. They're, they're interested but need a little bit more value. So maybe the other fourth round draft pick, or maybe we need to go sign another free agent. I mean, maybe that's what we need to do. I am going to send a week two, but what we're going to do is actually sign William Moore. I would sign the right in Chris Canty, but he's asking for $5.28 million when the second highest overall free agent is for two point four four. So be smart with that because, I, like I said, I do think you get hit with a little bit of a penalty every time you trade on a free agent. But William Moore, going to sign him $2.4 million, see what we can get. And guys, since we signed William Moore and he's a strong safety, and with the Browns biggest needs is a strong safety we're gonna try this trade right here and see if it works out and it was accepted so guys from essentially doing what I just told you we got the number one overall pick in the NFL draft for completely free and you can just keep doing this over and over. Not every single free agent can get you the value of a 7th round draft pick. Like even when I was testing this out beforehand, before I started recording, it was very hard for me to get a 7th round draft pick. I think I ended up getting a 6 for Johnny Manziel, but it was actually very hard. So you got to be smart with who you sign. They got to have somewhat of value, but if you're smart with it, you can literally get unlimited draft picks and end up and what I do tr like sign maybe five or six free agents and I ended up getting the number one overall draft pick for completely free maybe a total of a million dollars took off my cap space but that is that and hopefully you guys do use this if you want to try to get a lot of draft picks the possibilities are pretty much endless with what I just showed you guys so hopefully you do take that and use it if you want if you did enjoy, if this did help you, make sure to let me know by dropping a like. Be sure to subscribe to the channel for more Madden 17 content. And with that said, guys, I will catch you guys next time. Have a great rest of your day. Peace.